Hi everyone and welcome back to another InDesign tutorial. Have you ever wondered why there's a primary text frame option in InDesign? When you create a new document, we use primary text frames when we need to control the main text flow in a document. Typically, it is found only on parent pages and you can only have one on a page. Let's get started and create a new document. Right under facing pages, there's a checkbox for primary text frame. If you have a long document session in ebook, this would be perfect to use primary text frames. So let's check this on and create a document with primary text frames. Now double click on the parent pages and select the text frame. You should see a text box icon with an arrow pointed to the right. That's your primary text frame icon. You can also make it a regular text frame by clicking on that icon. Poof, there goes a the primary text frame icon. Okay, so you think you might need a primary text frame. Either use an existing text frame and click on this icon to make it a primary text frame. If by chance there isn't a text frame box, grab the text type tool and drag a text box on the parent pages. Select the selection tool and select the text box. Text icon will appear and click on that to make it a primary text frame. Select page one by double clicking it. We can use Greek text on page one as filler text or lorem ipsum. Select the page with the text or selection tool, go to the main menu and select type. Under the type menu, choose fill with placeholder text from the menu. InDesign will automatically fill the page with text. You should be able to see text on this layer. To get in the habit of naming my layers, I would also make an effort to call them what they are. Organize the five layers as follows, parent pages, raster graphics, vector artwork, text, and guides and grids. Once I've created my five layers, I will use the selection tool to select the text boxes and move this to the text layers. Although our text box has been moved to the text layers, Primary text frames still remain on the parent pages. Want to test this out? Hide the text there. If the text disappears, it worked. Did that work for you? If not, try again or let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like it and subscribe to get more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.